The court is concerned the father accused was the main offender and the perpetrator who played a major role in the commission of that crime and on proportionality of the punishment for that crime, he shall be sanctioned more than the second accused who was merely recruited to play a participative role than the fourth accused. As for the rest of the accused person, I find no major distinguishing factor. Having ruled that a fine is an appropriate sentence, but which must take into account that the offense involving dishonesty, especially in public processes or property, ought to attract sufficient punishment, I sentence the accused persons as follows. Alternative to count one. Under this count, second and fourth accused were convicted. It is the offense of polluting to change the substance of a tender document, contrary to section 42, subsection 1b, as read in section 137 of the Public Procurement and Disposal Act 2005. The punishment for this offense is found in section 137, which provides in the area that if the person convicted of an offense under the state act is an individual, he is liable to a fine not exceeding 4 million shillings or imprisonment for a term not exceeding 10 years. The court has discretion in sentencing, and being first offenders, I will not impose the maximum sentence. I will thus sentence them as follows. Considering that the fourth accused was the principal offender, who recruited the unwitting second accused to accomplish his criminal object, he bears the blunt of the punishment. He shall pay a fine of penal shillings 2 million on this count in the post of two years imprisonment. As for the fourth accused, who was just a freshly employed employee and who played a minor role, I sentence him to a fine of penal shillings 200,000 in the post one year imprisonment. Count 2. This is an offense of careless failure to comply with the law relating to procurement, contrary to section 42, sorry, 45, subsection 2, <coughs> paragraph B, as read in section 48 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, number 3 of 2003. The fourth and the fifth accused were convicted on this count. I sentenced each of them, fourth and fifth accused, to a fine of Kenya shillings 800,000 in the fourth due to serve one year imprisonment. Alternative count, alternative count 3 and 4. The offenses of these are offenses of uttering a false document, contrary to section 353 of the penal code. The punishment for this offense is three years imprisonment, but as, as was correctly pointed out by Mr. Wabuta, under section 26.3 of the penal code, section 26 gives the court discretion to impose a sentence, sorry, to impose a fine. It, is, it provides that the court a person liable to imprisonment for an offence may be sentenced to pay a fine or in substitution for imprisonment. I nevertheless consider, in sentencing the six, seven, and eight accused, that it was for their direct benefit that this crime was being orchestrated, and they must bear the greater burden in punishment. For the alternative to count three, the offense of altering false documents, each accused shall pay a fine of penal shillings, that is the each accused, that is the first and each accused, that is sixth and seventh accused, shall pay a fine of penal shillings, one million five hundred thousand in the fourth each shall serve for the sixth and seventh accused, who are individuals, two years imprisonment. Equally, both six and seven accused shall pay a fine of Kenya shillings, one million five hundred thousand, that is one point five million, in the fourth to serve. Sorry, in the alternative count four, that is the offense of uttering a false document, in the fourth each of them shall serve two years in prison. Additionally, they are directors of Solomon, a company that was convicted alongside them for their two offenses. I noticed that as directors, they will still have to bear responsibility of paying the fine on behalf of the company. Consequently, for each of the two offenses, alternative to count three and four, the company shall pay a fine of penal shillings one million each. This shall be shared equally among the directors, that is the sixth and the seventh accused, during which each shall serve an additional one year imprisonment. 
The sentences shall run consecutively. Those are the founders of the court. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.